Okay, so now let's say that I want to create a sales funnel to build my email list. So I will create a new sales funnel. So um, list building. So I will choose build an audience, but actually I can choose any template and just edit it uh, later on, no problem at all. So again, I will choose US dollar. Okay, so I can choose a template here. Let's choose this one. Yeah, here I can choose the thank you page, right? So what I'm gonna do is that when people opt in, I want people to be tagged, that, that's very important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an automation rule that says that when someone opt-ins opt -ins to this page, uh, he will um, get the tag that I created. So here I have the trigger, it's already selected because the automation rule is set right into the sales funnel step. So when a form is, is subscribed and it's this sales funnel step, it's this form on this quiz page, then I can choose any action. So here I have a var variety of actions I can choose from. So let's say I want to add a tag. I got only one, so I just click here, save rule, and that's it. And actually, if you go to automation rule now, you will see the rule, okay? But you can access it as well in the sales funnel step. All right, so there it is. I created uh, a very, very simple uh, sales funnel to build my email list in uh, a couple of clicks, as you as you can see. I could also actually create um, an opt-in form and add it to my to my blog. So I'm gonna create. I'm gonna choose either inline form to add it onto my blog pages or a pop-up form. So let's go with the inline form. You see. So there it is, I can edit it as I want, so I can center the text, you know, the color is a bit, uh, I'd say it's not a very common color, but you can uh, edit, edit it as you want. So here you have the page settings, they're very important, okay? So if you want to change, um, so different um, attributes of the page is gonna be here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the background color. And then I can change the background color here. So let's go with white. Here I can select all the text, change the color as well. this same here so I will center it and that's it as, as you can see you can change the, the design very easily you can actually add some more items you know can be an image can be a video you can you can do pretty much everything you want, you know, add a video. Uh, what I recommend when you're editing um, a page or a form is always to use these uh, rows here. They're very convenient. For example, you know, I could add like a row here and then I can actually change the, uh, the column size. So it's very convenient to have your items uh, well placed on on, uh, on your form. So you see right now, for example, if I, if I wanted to add a small picture here, I would uh, add the picture, I would use this row and I would add a picture there, you know, it would make things easier like this. So of course I can, you know, change the, and here I could, then add maybe even a video actually and I could change ok 
Okay, we can change the, the settings to so you click here in settings. And you can change the margin, you know. So here you could change the the size of the font. Here, uh, there it is, you know. So you have plenty of uh, options. Feel free to 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 change them. And something that's very important, you should. Uh, you can optimize your pages and forms for desktop or mobile. So you can decide if this item is going to be visible on desktop or on mobile. So you can optimize your pages for uh, both desktop and mobile and this is very important. So there it is. Um, that was how to create a very, uh, in, in, in just ma a matter of minutes, uh, a simple sales funnel to build your email list. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually sell products and make money uh, by creating a sales funnel.